Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about all of the hints that Pokemon have been dropping very recently that link towards Diamond and Pearl remakes. Now these of course aren't rumors or leaks or they're even confirmed. They're just interesting things that Pokemon have been doing very recently that just kind of give us a hint towards Diamond and Pearl remakes happening next year. So if you are excited for today's video, please do drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really does help out. Make sure to drop a comment as well if you've seen any other hints that Pokemon may have dropped that do link towards Sinnoh remakes and subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off and the biggest hint that Pokemon have just dropped is the Space Sunrise Live event. So if you don't know what this is, obviously I'm going to be reading this article. It'll be linked in the description down below. It's from Game Revolution. But basically, uh, on I think it's New Year's uh, Eve, they're basically taking part in this uh, space uh, event thing, I don't know, with I think it's Coca-Cola and Japanese Twitter or something like that. Uh, but it's just interesting because obviously, you know, space and time is diamond, diamond and pearl, Palkia and Dialga. Obviously, I'll get over that in a second. But let's read the article. So it says, Pokemon promises a new form of entertainment with an ISS augmented reality broadcast. Uh, and this is very recent as well. This is on the 25th of November. So yesterday, and it says, uh, a Pokemon augmented reality broadcast will be taking place via the International Space Station during the upcoming Space Sunrise Live 2021 event for New Year's Eve. No, really. The International Space Station has had several broadcasts back to Earth over the years, including interviews, science demonstrations, and stunning views of planet, uh, planet Earth. Now, the Pokemon company has partnered with uh, JAXA, which is the Japanese Space Exploration Agency, the country's equivalent of NASA, for a special broadcast to celebrate the start of 2021. And that says, what is Pokemon doing in space with augmented reality? So it says, the upcoming Space Sunrise Live 2021 event highlighted on Reset Era will utilize the Japanese experiment module nicknamed Kibo for a special Pokemon broadcast. This will be the third portion of a three-part event, preceded by a real-time communication session with astronaut uh, Nogushi, sponsored by Twitter, and a New Year's Eve countdown sponsored by Coca-Cola. So Coca-Cola is doing uh, a, a countdown, so obviously we're doing 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, whatever, until New Year's. Uh, and then also Twitter are doing something as well. Uh, but Pokemon are also taking part in this event. And they're saying it's a brand new form of entertainment. And it says 2020 has already been full of surprises for Pokemon fans. This uh, uh, year saw the reveal of MOBA, the return of a legendary poke, every legendary Pokemon in the Crown Tundra, and a bonus episode of the Twilight Wings web anime. Now it seems that the creators have saved the biggest surprise for the end of the year with a special space-based broadcast from the International Space Station utilizing augmented reality technology. Real-time Earth images received from the ISS and Pokemon Collaborate read a machine translated explanation in a press release from JAXA. We will challenge a new form of entertainment delivered from outer space. Augmented reality technology is already used for Pokemon Go, allowing players to see their favorite Pokemon monsters appear in the real world on their phone's screen. While JAX has not yet revealed specific details, the use of AR uh, tech for this special broadcast means that we might see fan favorite legendary creatures flying through space to ring in the new year. The broadcast is set on December the 31st, 2020 at 11.45 p.m. Tokyo time. Um, so that's actually very, very early to be fair on New Year's um, Eve. For, like everybody else because Japan is very very far in in like the future for time zones I think they're like I don't know like 10 hours ahead or something like that so I might even stream this to be fair because like I say that like it's not gonna be New Year's for me it's gonna be like midday um, but yeah it's gonna be really really cool so uh, what does this mean well I don't think it means they're gonna announce Diamond and Pearl remakes during this thing it's not gonna do anything like that in the slightest it's just interesting because the event is literally about time and space uh, the space portion, obviously, it being in space, and then the time portion, obviously, being New Year's. You know, it's the New Year's, 
the time. Um, so obviously the space and time Pokemon are, Di uh, are Dialga and Palkia. Uh, and obviously if everyone's asking about Giratina, they're going to be remaking Diamond and Pearl. They're not going to be remaking Platinum. There's probably just going to be some sort of Platinum event in Diamond and Pearl remakes, just like they did with a Delta uh, episode for Rayquaza in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Um, but I think what is really going to be cool though is if this part is true, uh, where it says uh, there's going to be uh, favorite legendary creatures probably flying through space. Um, if we see, we're probably going to see Dialga and Palkia there, which is obviously going to add more fuel to the fire uh, in regards to potentially getting Diamond and Pearl remakes. But it's a, it's a really cool event, regardless, like w whether they do show anything um, or not. Like I, like I said, I don't think that they're, they're not going to announce Diamond and Pearl remakes during this. You know, um, they're going to announce Diamond and Pearl remakes probably next February. Um, or maybe even later than that. Uh, but it's just a really cool event. Uh, like I say, it's definitely going to be something I will be watching regardless because I think New Year's is pretty much cancelled anyway because of the virus. So I'm not going to be doing anything anyway. So um, yeah, I'll probably stream this event if uh, if you are allowed to. But yeah, definitely looking forward to this. But uh, just like I say, very, very interesting. Definitely a, a potential hint um, for uh, obviously Pokemon remakes. Not only that, we also had this uh, not too long ago, um, which was basically a Diamond and Power Kia balloon, which were installed on a, Jap a Japanese shopping center. Um, I think there was a bunch of other balloons installed as well, um, but I, I think the people, uh, like people, just took pictures of these ones just because obviously it's adding more fuel to the fire for Diamond and Pearl. Uh, remakes, but again, just something to uh, just to take a look at. I think this was uh, like a, a couple weeks ago. I think it was on the 14th of November that this kind of started appearing. Um, but like I say, Pokemon have done this a lot uh, in the past. You know, they they, they do a lot of um, kind of hints and stuff towards the next game. I think for Sword and Shield, they had um, they had somebody literally holding a Sword and Shield and and said something along the lines of like coming soon or whatever. Uh, and then as well as that, they also obviously did the Pikachu with the Luigi hat. Uh, with like a pokeball which was like for let's go so they obviously do like they drop a lot of hints uh leading up to the next games um so yeah just interesting that we obviously got the diamond and pearl legendary pokemon mascots as big balloons in the japanese shopping center uh, and then obviously we also had this now this isn't obviously a massive hint but it's just something i wanted to include in the video anyway because i think people would like talk about this in the comment section uh so pokemon basically tweeted this out yesterday uh with the world shook when the arceus and dialga and palkia gx tag team card was first introduced in the pokemon tcg sun and moon cosmic eclipse expansion what's the best part of having this tag team in your deck trainers so obviously it's just a pokemon card for arceus dialga and palkia um, but at the same time i think it's because it's dragon month um, I don't know why Arceus is there, obviously, because it's not a dragon type, but apparently this uh, card is like a year old now, and like I say, it says dragon type one there, so don't know why Arceus is there, but it is, so <laughs> I think it was more likely for that, but just interesting that they've brought this card out, um, not brought it out, but kind of like talking about it whilst all this stuff is, is going on as well, but again, it's probably just because it's a year old, nothing too crazy there. Um, so yeah, a lot of Diamond and Pearl remake hints uh, have been happening, I'm sure will be happening, more uh, more so in the future um so yeah I'm, I'm guessing a lot more stuff is gonna pop up obviously we still have this as well which i think people are kind of forgetting about but it, it could just be a hint that they dropped ages ago uh ready for next year they've, they've done that in the past as well they have dropped hints like years before and then obviously it happens uh this was obviously from the pokemon presents back in i want to say june um, where they obviously did, they did two Pokemon Presents, I think. They did one uh, for Pokemon Snap, uh, Pokemon Cafe Mix, and Pokemon something else. I don't know. And then they also did the other Pokemon Presents for Pokemon Unite. But obviously it was the background that got uh, everybody talking. Uh, we obviously have the Shadow Pikachu there, which a lot of people thought it was uh, relating to Pokemon Colosseum, because we also have Umbreon and Espeon here, which is obviously Colosseum, that's your starters, not the Shadow Pokemon. Uh, but then over here we have like Politoed, uh, Sudowoodo, Ampharos. Uh, I don't know what these things are. I think it's like a gold Pikachu or something. But we have uh, the Generation 8 starters there with Sword and Shield. We have a Pokeball case thing here. I'm not sure what that is. We have a uh, Sandshrew and an Alolan Sandshrew there. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe just hinting towards maybe more forms in the future. But this is the interesting part where we obviously have ho -Oh and Lugia. Uh, we have Lapras and Mewtwo there. We have the Generation 2 starter Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Meganium is behind his head. And then we have Typhlosion for Alligator. We have the Legendary Beast being Entei, Raikou, Suicune. We have Slowpoke there, which is obviously for the Slowpoke well. Uh, but then we also have Detective Pikachu here as well. Now, of course, Detective Pikachu 2 is apparently going to be coming out next year. There has just been that... Um, inside a leak which has said that detective pikachu 2 is happening um next year 
But again, at the same time, there's nothing here about like Pokemon Snap. Um, there's nothing uh, about Pokemon. Uh, I, th I can't remember what else is announced for next year. Well, not announced, but was in that league. But yeah, obviously Detective Pikachu 2 was. Um, so just interesting that we have them. But then we also have Pokemon here as well. We have a Let's Go box there. Um, and then obviously we have Eevee with Umbreon and Espeon with Let's Go Eevee in the background, which obviously a lot of people thought was Let's Go Johto. Starters are going to be Umbreon and Espeon, which definitely could be a thing. So I don't know. Like there's still this to think about as well. Like obviously there's loads of diamond and pearl hints but at the same time let's go is kind of still there you know we shouldn't forget about this uh, i really hope it is diamond and pearl remix but like i said let's go joe could still be a thing that we do see um next year instead fingers crossed it's not but like i say it's still a possibility but pretty much that that is all the hints that i wanted to go over for today's video uh, obviously these two aren't massive hints they're just things that are propped up that i wanted to include in the video because i think people would have commented about them in the comment section i think this is the big one this surprise um space station launch thing which uh uh not launch but you know what i mean like it's an event uh, augmented reality event probably going to see some legendaries flying around and stuff um and obviously it's to do with space and time dialga and palkia the space and time pokemon down and power remakes who knows but uh yeah just some fun hints like i said this isn't a rumor or a leak or anything it's just some hints that have literally popped up that i wanted to talk about today so uh yeah if you guys did enjoy the video please do drop a like down below it really does help out let's try and hit 500 likes uh, be sure to leave a comment have you seen any other hints i know they're also doing like yuxi azel for mesprit in generation uh, from generation 4 in pokemon go at the moment but i think that kyurem also on its way as well so i didn't really take any notice of that um but of course subscribe if you're brand new do daily pokemon content on this channel everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace